Hi everyone. Today I'm thinking about that time when God visited Solomon in a dream and Solomon told God that he wanted wisdom, right? So before he said that, he actually said that he's like a child not knowing how to come in or go out and he doesn't know how to lead or govern the people of Israel which he calls are a multitude that no man can number. So this is a very curious statement that I didn't really notice before but it is very very important and when he said this he was actually tapping into a powerful covenant that God made with Abraham. So before we talk about that, I just want to share that in the book before this, in 2 Samuel, what happened was that King David had commanded Joab, his captain of the army, to actually con conduct or perform a census. So to count the whole of Israel, count how many people were there in total, to number the population. And we know that in the natural, it was possible to do this. So Joab went out all around Israel and counted everyone and he came back and reported the number to David. So this in God's eyes was a great sin. So great that what happened was God sent a destroying angel to send a pestilence upon the whole of Israel from Dan to Bathsheba and killed 70,000 people. So why was counting the people of Israel such a great and huge sin in God's eyes? Well, we must go back to the time when God made a covenant with Abraham to understand why. So when God made a covenant with Abraham, He said that He would make Abraham's descendants like the stars of the heavens and like the sand on the seashore, just as innumerable as that. So when David had tried to count the people, against God's command and when God had not commanded so because previously in the book of Numbers he had actually told Moses to count the people but that was because God instructed it but this time round David was not instructed by, by God and yet he went to perform a census so David was going towards sight rather than faith he was not agreeing or lining up with the covenant of Abraham Instead, Solomon, who said that we who are uh, the people of Israel are innumerable and cannot be numbered, he was aligning and tapping on the covenant with Abraham. And from the Bible, we know that Abraham is a thoroughly blessed person. We can see it in his life. He was exceedingly prosperous. He had many servants, flocks of animals. He had lots of gold and silver. He was also greatly respected, honoured even by the nations of people who are not of his own. And he had a beautiful spouse who enjoyed physical youth renewal. He had descendants and faith descendants innumerable like the stars of the heavens and sand on seashore. He had lots and lots of blessings. Right, so this person, Abraham, is referred to as the father of faith. So there is a chapter in the New Testament that talks about how we are the descendants of Abraham and heirs of the promise. So this promise is actually all the blessings of Abraham that he enjoyed during his life. So when you study the life of Abraham, realize that all the good things that he enjoyed, including being a close friend of God, as written in the Bible, having intimacy and closeness with God like a friend, that is ours, that inheritance for us to possess as well. So believe and align yourself with the covenant of Abraham by faith and you will experience all the blessings that Abraham enjoyed in your very own life. Align your words, your actions, the way you live your life the blessings of Abraham, speak by faith, live by faith and not by sight and you will surely enjoy all the good promises that God has promised. He is faithful to do it and he will surely bless you. In this year, 2019, the year of the latter rain, I pray 
that you enjoy a great bountiful harvest that whatever you've been believing for or praying for will come true in your life and you will reap all the wonderful blessings and be filled with joy and celebration. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Do share with me in the comments what topic you'd like me to share about next and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!